All right, I wanted to show a, a little other, a, a secondary method of, of hosting your videos or posting your videos on one of your websites because the embedding on my tutorial actually has some bugs and issues here and there. Um, so if you have any kind of issues, I uh, actually have a second little method here that really should be fail-proof. Um, now what I'm going to do is use another website to host my video and this eliminates the the process of actually uploading it to our RWD um, website location. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to there's a, there's a lot out there. I mean, number one is YouTube, but uh, that's blocked within the district. So I'm gonna go. There's also Vimeo.com, but I'm gonna go to Vidler.com. I like this one because it's more pointed towards uh, educational use. I already have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you log in, um, up at the top, you've got a new set of functions here. I'm going to go to Videos drop down. Don't go to Batch, but go to Simple Upload. Because we are, we're only uploading like one video. Um, now, when you hit Choose File, it pulls up your window where you need to find your videos I usually put my, my in my documents and my videos that's a very simple easy spot to find all these videos so I'm gonna pull in ball video double click and it wants you to title your video I'm gonna just call it ball video again you have to have a description and a tag I'm just gonna name this ball animation test and I'm gonna call this animation um, you need at least one but I'm gonna have a couple more with test and ball as extra tags um, these are just for searching searching preferences and um, I like the option that you don't have to make it public you can if you want but I'm gonna leave that checked off and you can have it email you when it's done in coding which can take time it's uh, that's all based off how much traffic they've got now it's actually uploading here with a progress bar and my video is very small so it only took a couple seconds now the encoding can take a while um, but not for me apparently it's already done <laughs> um, once that's done encoding at 100 percent it says um, well it pops up a new thing here and then it plays your video that's awesome. So we need to grab the embedding code for this video. And that would be at the bottom of your video with all these little icons down here. Look for embed this. It's kind of a red icon. Click. And then it gives you a pop-up with some kind of settings you can have on your embedding. Um, I just kind of go for default on all of these. You can autoplay it, but I'm going to leave that off and it's asking for size of your video and I think it automatically grabs whatever your video size is but you can you can make it even a bigger one if you check off custom and do it that way and I'm uh, you can post it to, to WordPress if you've got that but I'm just gonna grab this HTML here and copy control C or you can right click and copy and uh, once you have this embedding code then go back to your web page which is I'm going to back to test and I'm going to control V to paste it or you can right click and paste either one now this you could tell this isn't HTML it's not going to read it as HTML because it's not bolded and uh, if I save it like this it's just going to plop down this text on the page I can show you real fast of um, it won't be a video at all it's just the actual translated text now that's not what we want so I'm going to go back you need a highlight all your HTML code here. Right click anywhere on that highlighted HTML code and go to format text. And remember you can get there two ways. I can, I'm going to cancel this and do it the other way for you. Format drop down, format selection. You can also bring up literal HTML. Check that off. Hit OK. Now you can see how that's kind of bolded. Um, that's all you really need to do. Now save and that takes a couple seconds to upload or update. Now 
uh, refresh your browser at the page and there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and play just to double check it and it's good. Now that's how you add a video the, the fail safe way. And simple as that.